Talking right now with the Audubon Boys Shuttle Hurdle Relay Team down here at the uh, state uh, track meet. We're going to start off with Jake Mulford, who started things off for him today. Uh, Jake, good start for you today. You had a guy on your inside kind of pushing you a little bit, but how did you feel right off of the bat today? Uh, I thought it was good. I was a little nervous when they brought us up for the first time. I didn't know if anybody got disqualified. But after we got going and the race got going, I felt like I was going good, and I was just getting down as fast as I could to bring the next runner in and hopefully get a lead for us. Did you feel like you ran a pretty clean race? Yeah, I thought I did. I, I hit one hurdle on the way down, but after that, I regrouped pretty well. And I got done. I got all the way down there. I got Colby back in. He did all right. Did, did you kind of like having somebody kind of pushing you right beside you to make you run a little faster? Yeah, I mean, it always feels makes me feel better because I always know I, there's always someone right there. So I know, I, I know how fast I'm going. It makes me feel like I'm going a lot faster than I usually am. Jake, how do you deal with kind of being the pressure of that leadoff guy? Uh, I, do, I don't really get nervous that much. It's just... I mean, it's, I was a little nervous about jumping, that's it. Well, after the gun goes, it just all goes away, and it's just like another race. Well, Jake, great job. It looks like you guys are probably going to be in the finals. Uh, thank you. Let's talk right now with Colby Rattenberg from the Audubon Wheelers. Colby, second leg today. You got out of the blocks pretty good the way it looked. Yeah, it felt, felt pretty good. You know, Jake got us pretty pretty close to the lead, if not the lead. And, I don't know. He said the code word, and it felt smooth. Did you run a smooth race? Did you, felt, did you feel good? Uh, I felt a couple of my... Mess up on, but overall I thought I ran pretty smooth. Which which hurdles were the ones that maybe gave you a little trouble? You remember? Uh, probably second and third. I felt like I went over them a little higher than what I should have. How did you adjust to that then? I uh, just tried keeping it lower, just uh, just not jump as much, just more glide. What goes through your mind as you're watching Jake go? Get here as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch much of him before you get into position? I watch him until about three or four hurdles away from me, so I watch him for a little over half. How about when you got done? What were you thinking while Dylan and uh, Mitchell were running? Keep going. Yeah, it looked, as of right now, it looks like we're having a PRs, and we did. Well, I tell you what, Colby, best of luck coming up in the finals. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll talk now with Dylan Jensen, who ran the uh, third leg here today. Dylan, how did you feel coming out today? Um, you know, I was, I was pretty nervous. You know, having you know qualifying fourth this year, it just took a lot out of you trying to, you know know that you need to live up to it, but I think we did one hell of a job doing it. How did you feel like you dealt with the pressure? Uh, I felt like just kind of channeled it. Just let it, let it take you. How, it. how do you prepare yourself as the first two guys are running? <laughs> try to stay loose, try to stay focused, and not freak out too much. How early do you get into the blocks? Um, I get into the blocks about halfway. Did you feel like you got out of the, out of the blocks well today? Oh yeah, I, I felt good getting out of the blocks. It real smooth and everything. I heard you talking with one of the other runners today uh, about getting down here last year and and, and the pressure and does, is it the same this year or more with that with that four seed? Um, little of both. It's easier because last year we weren't expected to do anything, so there wasn't really any pressure on us to go out there and show everybody what we can do but that's just what we did last year this year we've already shown people what we can do now we've got to live up to that reputation well dylan i appreciate you joining us here today best of luck coming up in the finals thank you let's move on now to mitchell nelson mitchell the anchor leg uh something you're kind of used to here uh how did you feel like you ran today felt like it went pretty good uh, a little slow coming out i felt like over the first couple because the track feels weird at first it's different than normal tracks now, how, now, what do you mean it just doesn't feel the same? Is it different on your feet or yeah. how you land or what? Yeah, when my spikes are coming out of it, it feels like slightly sticky, but that's about it. How did you adjust to that as you were running? I just got used to it as I ran, I guess. Just kept running my race. Did you feel like you ran a pretty clean race then? Yeah, I didn't put any hurdles today, so that was good. <laughs> Nobody really pushing you. Uh, does that feel good or does that make you a little more nervous when you're running? A little of both. I know I just got to run my race and I'll be fine, but at the same time, I hope no one has a stud anchor that's going to catch me. Did, do you kind of sense somebody behind you if there is somebody back there? A little bit. Sometimes I can hear them go <laughs> as they go over the hurdle or something. I can hear them getting close. Looking forward to the finals, and if so, what are you looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to getting a good place. Hopefully, we can stay with some really good teams that have been beating us all year. Well, I tell you what, Mitchell, I appreciate you guys joining us. Congratulations today, guys. Thank you. Thank you.